Welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give all of you thumbs up. Good morning, friends. My name is Ina Irby, and I am a mom. Happy Veterans Day for all those who have sacrificed their lives for America. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. <sighs> Courage to change. November 11th. Insanity has been defined as doing something the same way over and over again and expecting different results. In the past, I tried to control people, places, and things, believing that my way was the correct way. I knew my track record, my way, based on insisting upon my will, did not work. Yet, I kept trying. It was an insane way to live. Step three made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. It was a turning point for me in relinquishing control. It means choosing between an insane life and a sane one. My will or God's will. Since my will had let me down time and time again, the real question was, how long would I continue running around in the same circles before I was willing to admit defeat and turn to a source of genuine help? Today's reminder. I may find it easy to point to the alcoholic's irrational or self-destructive choices. It is harder to admit that my own behavior has not always been sane. Today, I can let go of insisting upon my will. With this simple decision, I make a commitment to sanity. The quote is from As We Understood, quote, Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new end, end quote. I'll read that again. Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, Anyone can start from now and make a brand new end. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on discernment. Today, I discern between fantasy and reality. As a child, I tried to understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Unfortunately, my parents were addicted and could not help me. I can still feel the terror that stemmed from my belief that I was the cause of awful events. Was I really bad enough to cause mom's drinking? Did I cause my dad to get sick? Deep within, I have a three-year-old who questions cause and effect. As I let this child surface, I can visualize that little face with eyes filled with shame and confusion. Today, I will use my adult self to alleviate the anxiety that has plagued me and clear up my three-year-old's misconceptions. I will remind myself that children are at the mercy of adults around them. A sense of well-being pervades my consciousness today as I replace magical thinking with a healthy reality. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey 